Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to take a few minutes to talk about the torque thrust wheel and more specifically the center caps. I personally prefer running without a cap. I think it looks more aggressive, uh, kind of that Trans Am look of the late 60s, early 70s. The downside is those little holes that the bolts go in are going to get trash inside of them and at times it just doesn't quite look like a finished wheel. It looks maybe like something's missing. So the option to running around without a cap or with the factory style cap is to get a flat racing style cap. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Okay, here's a selection of three caps I have. These are actually American Racing brand and they're aluminum, heavy, very nice. This is what came on a set of aftermarket knockoffs. These are were made by Eagle Alloys. Similar cap and design, but it is plastic. So the aluminum and plastic. Both of these caps use the same type of screw to hold it on, and it looks like this. It's a little Allen bolt, and it's got a wedge face to it, and the reason for that is because there's a beveled edge to the cap itself for that screw to go into so that it will mount flush, and the plastic ones are made the same way. When you go to a flat cap, like this aluminum style here, it's flat, doesn't have that bevel to it, so this screw will not work. In fact, it will, it will stick up, that whole bevel sticks up. So you have to use a different screw. It looks like this, it's got, it's flat on the bottom so it mounts properly. Now, I bought these flat caps off of eBay. Uh, very reasonable price, I think I paid around $22, $23 for them for a pair, and they come with the hardware. And uh, the, the Allen uh, bolt size is exactly the same. So if you have a set of ra American Racing wheels with the uh, little Allen wrench that comes with them that fits the, the factory bolts, it will also fit the aftermarket bolts. The difference is these are a little longer, obviously because the caps are thicker. Uh, yeah, fair thickness there, so you got to get through that and hold them on. Whereas this aluminum is considerably thinner and you don't need that long of a screw. So, one thing you need to do though before you anticipate putting these on, if you decide to get them, is to clean out the holes on your wheels. I had to spray uh, some penetrating oil into each of the holes and let them sit and then work the screws around and try to clean them out as best I could uh, so that the screws would actually go in all the way to the head. And it took a little work, but they did. They did do that. Uh, these, uh, there's several styles of this. You can get them in uh, stainless steel. These are just brushed aluminum. Uh, I'm probably just gonna wipe these down with alcohol, shoot them with clear, and let them go at that. So here's a picture of what the wheel looked like before. And here's a picture of the wheel after. I like the look. Uh, it looks aggressive, looks racy, a little different than everybody else. In fact, I haven't noticed anybody else with these. There is a little bit of a difference for the caps that go on the front. Because the grease cap on the wheel sticks out a little farther than the face of that cap mounting surface, uh, they, make a, they make a cap or make a plate that looks just like the back, but they have a hole in the front uh, so that cap can kind of come through. In my case, I've got... Uh, aluminum uh, grease caps, so they should match up just fine. I'm gonna order a set of those for the front, just so it kinda looks like a match set instead of like something's missing on the front now. Anyway, I wanted to show that to you, point it out to you as an option if you're running a torque thrust style wheel, and it really has a nice look. It's not expensive, it's something you can do pretty quick. The, long, the most time consuming part of it, at least for me, was cleaning out the uh, little bolt holes to make sure that they would go all the way through and mount properly. I put a little anti-seize on them so that they wouldn't get, uh, get locked in place. Another difference on the uh, torque thrust wheel, at least on the style I have here, is that the holes that are drilled in the wheel have a little brass insert that's mounted into the rim that is threaded. On the aftermarket that I have on the front, that is not the case. It is simply drilled and tapped into the wheel itself. So you definitely want to be careful about uh, getting trash in those holes and cleaning them out because on the American Racing, if that threaded insert that's, that's 
mounted or pressed into the wheel starts spinning, you're going to have a new problem to deal with. A lot easier just to keep them out and keep them clean and avoid those kind of issues. Anyway, well, I hope that was a quick tip for you. Something that looks pretty cool. I like them. Uh, I can't wait to show them off. But that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching. See you next time.